Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic is Wisdom and Seasons Part 2 and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. The last day, we started discussing the need to be able to discern times and seasons. There are people who are able to discern seasons of revival in nations and are able to position themselves spiritually to birth those seasons. There are others who are able to discern what God is doing in their lives and also position themselves to take advantage of the move of God. In our anchor scripture, we see an example of a political ruler who was clueless about seasons. He could not discern because he lacked wisdom. The beauty about this story is that even though he lacked wisdom, he sent for the people who he felt should have the wisdom concerning the news he had received. He sent for the chief priests and the scribes. This morning, I want to remind believers listening that the Bible calls us a kingdom of priests, a royal priesthood. In these times, we as the church are supposed to be the go-to people in matters of wisdom. Companies are to seek us out. The world is to seek us out when they need to understand the times. This is a charge to us as the body of Christ. In this era of gross and immense darkness, we must shine as lights with wisdom. Pure, heavenly and divine wisdom puts anyone who operates in it at such an unbelievable advantage. Now more than ever before, we are in a season where wisdom will compel people to come to Christ. Let us take our time to ask God to endow us with a spirit of wisdom. The Bible says of the sons of Issachar that they understood the times. They were able to discern the seasons and as a consequence, they knew what Israel ought to do per time. When you are praying for the spirit of wisdom, don't pray for yourself alone. Pray for the body of Christ. May God give us wisdom and may we begin to understand understand the times and take the right steps. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we intercede for the body of Christ this morning. Please release upon us a unique dimension of wisdom that will cause us to shine like the lights that we are at work, in our homes, in our communities, and everywhere you have placed us. Continue to take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need. For your change to come. Love you and bye.